Hey everyone, welcome to Bird Brain Gaming. Last video I showed you some uh, little game openings from a package from PlayAsia, but I forgot to actually open the game to show you what was inside. So I will be doing that right now. Let's see, so 7 Pirates H. Pirates H opened. Yeah, last video I my head wasn't all there. I have a lot of my mind right now. So I'll just try to get this for you guys today. What do we have? We got a little manual inside. Got some nice artwork in here. Controls for the switch. Got the character bios. A brief description. Got some more characters here. So that's it for that book. Little manual. Got the game cartridge here. Let's see if you can see it. It's always blurry when I get it close. Now we got the inside of the case. Pretty cool. And the back as well. Alright. And uh, second game, Grim Grimoire once more. I have no idea. It's in Japanese. If you read Japanese, this is pretty cool. So they just give these two little slips. There's no booklet. There's the game cartridge. It's gonna be hard to see. Inside, there's no artwork. 
back side has um, some nice art going on there. There you have it. Game's opening for Seven Pirates H and Grim Grimoire once more. Let's continue our video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bird Brain Gaming. Today's video McFarlane Toys, maker of Spawn. I'll be going over my spawn figures, my opened, and my sealed figures. So let's get rolling. Now, I don't know the names of all of them. If you know their names, fine. You could comment if you do. I'll just blur out the ones I do know. Most of these are the ones I played with as a kid. Some of them I found in yard sales. And if I'm able to find the clips of that sale, you'll see it in this video. So let's begin. So I have this guy. I know he's from Wetworks. I forgot his name. I have Angela with her missing head. I have this chick. I forgot her name, but she's also from Wetworks. She has a gold face. Uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Something Hawk? I can't remember exactly. I have this spawn here. His armor is bones. Okay. I have this manga robot here this face opens it's in the mouth now all the parts that are missing I believe this is Tiffany it could be Angela but I think it is Tiffany all the parts to these the weapons the missing body parts I do have in this box right here I got capes Missing limbs, pieces that shoot, missiles, swords, shields, you name it. Everything's in here. So whatever that I'll be able to fix down the road, it's all in here. I have another. This is my original Tiffany. This one was from a yard sale. I have this guy. He's a knight. He was pretty cool when I got him. He had uh, wings on his uh, helmet. Oh. I have uh, this spawn. I think, I don't know if he's, I forgot his name. Raven spawn, I believe. I could be wrong. I have this guy. Can't remember his name off the top of my head either. His chest and sword used to light up back in the day. I have a cyber violator. <clears throat> I got overkill. I think two or three. They made so many versions. His arm is in the box with the rest of his pieces. I have manga overkill. I have this spawn. This one I found at a yard sale. It's pretty cool. I have Crypt. He's one of my favorites. This is my original. I have this one. I forgot his name. He's one of the demons from hell. Can't remember his name. I have Tremor. I believe this was the first or second figure I've owned from all of them. My father bought me this figure one day, brought it home. Like, that's pretty cool. I know they have a green one of this. His arm doesn't stay in anymore. This spawn I got at a yard sale. <clears throat> uh, I forgot. 
forgot this guy's name. He's pretty cool too. Yeah. I know there's a blue one of him. Oh, wow. I have Commando spawn. He has lots and lots of weapons, which I do have. I have these two spawns are just repaints, and I think they were renamed uh, differently. I do have their capes. I know this one has the cape. I think this one does too, or it might have something different. I can't remember off the top of my head. I have this rhino. I forgot his name. As well as this guy here. I have this one here. His shoulders open up like wings. I know he's meant to fly. I have this guy from Wetworks. I know there's a gold skinned version of him. I have Cygor. I think one or two. I have, uh, I think he's Vindicator. I painted his shoulder pads as a kid, the silver. Normally it's all black. I have this ugly thing I got from a yard sale. I don't know what line it could be from uh, one of the horror lines. I'm not too sure. I have another tremor here with the pump on his back. He could pump uh, blood through the little hoses into his body. I've had it for so long that I'm sure it's all dried up by now. I have this guy. I forgot his name. He's one of my favorites. He shoots missiles from his shoulders. I do have them. I have this demon from hell. I don't know his name. I did find them in a yard sale as well. He's pretty cool looking. He's got six eyes. And a tongue on his head. I have... Uh, I can't remember his name. I know it starts with a V. I don't know if it was Vandalizer. I can't remember exactly. I know there's an alternate one that's white. A white and black one. I think that's the more limited one. I have this robot that has a head in the center. It reminds me of Krang from Ninja Turtles. I do have the, all the parts in the box. I have the manga version of this guy and I have this one I have all the parts as well I don't know most of the names if you know just let me know in the bottom so these are all my loose figures <laughs> most of them I played with to death that's why they're all missing uh, broken parts so I'm gonna show you my sealed Spawn figures, let's get to it. Alright guys, here's my, here's my sealed spawn figures, starting with the spawn mobile. I found this at my local store, my local uh, game store, for about $17. It was the only one they had. I have spawned the Blood Axe and Thunder Hoof. Slow, slow. Let's get the side. This one's really good. I never opened this one. This has been sealed since it came out. Here's the back. Uh, has a little backstory. Thunderhoof is a powerful and brutal steed with the unique ability to bridge the bottomless stretch of time and space between the lands of the living and the dead. The horse is currently restrained in a cage made of human bones 
in the throne room of the realm of the dead. Thunderhoof wears a saddle, but no man has ever ridden him until Spawn the Blood Axe. Did the noble stallion recognize some basic similarity between itself and the disfigured Blood Axe? An essential nobility of the two creatures trapped in horrific circumstances, betrayed but not beaten. Would Thunderhoof be able to carry this warrior across the unspeakable gulf between the realm of the dead and the land of the living? So the rest of this is written in Spanish and French it looks like, but it's basically the same thing. So, yeah. Dark Ages spawn. Alright, let's get to our next one. I have, oh, this is Cygor 2. I have Cygor 2 in the box. It has been opened. I did play with it when I was younger. His chest comes out and he's got a little robotic monkey inside of it let me show you the back oh, here's the side here's the back All right, let's get to the next one I have over overkill three when I worked at KB toy stores back in the early 2000s before they closed I bought this with my discount as soon as it came in in the store here's the side back this one I wanted medieval spawn 3 I really wanted that one he was one of my favorite designs of spawn okay look at that army of darkness look the skeleton Texas chainsaw Freddy Cougar and I wish I would have got these when they came out Alright, the next two were from Yard Sales. The original Spawn figure, the very first one. The box is beat up and yellowed, but this is all I found. I believe I got them for, I think, three or four dollars at the sale. There's the back. There's the Spawn Mobile, the big one that we have back here. Violators Monster Rig and Spawn Alley. And I got Pirate Spawn from a sale for five bucks. Box is kind of beat up and bent, but it is what it is. Here's the back. Here's my Tortured Souls, Agonistis, I believe I'm pronouncing it wrong, it's from the Hellraiser series, it's one of the Hell Demons, still sealed, I got this at a comic book store back in the day. Next I have Babe Ruth. From the New York Yankees. It looks like it's uh, old fashioned color design. Okay. Next we have on the classic comic covers series 24 it's 
face is all the way up there. If you can see it. Here's the back. This is how it looks. series this is the army desert infantry that's how it looks next Another really old one that I kept in the box. One of my favorites. I was tempted several times from Series 20, Medieval Spawn 3. I was tempted many times to open it. I wanted to really play with this one when I was a kid. But I just decided to leave it sealed. Here's the back. There's Overkill 3. I have that. Boxes, seeing better days. Oh. Next, I have Spawn Classic, Al Simmons. the back so we got Al Simmons Malbolgia 2 Medieval Spawn 2 I, I used to have him I don't know if I brought him I think I did bring him here when I moved I believe I did bring him Clown 3 Tiffany 2 the Movie Maniac series was pretty good I wish I had collected for that Next, we have Tiffany, the Amazon. Here's the back. Next, we have from the Manga Spawn series. This is Angela. Oh, uh, the goddess, excuse me, the goddess from Manga Spawn. Here's the back. Next, we have Spawn 4 from Series 4, I believe. Lots of weapons. Let's see the back. It's got Cygor 2 on that series, the Heap, the Creech. Top gun, bottom line, and reanimate the spawn. Okay, next we're going to the Dark Ages spawn, Samurai Wars. This is Samurai Spawn. looking to see the back
All right, next we have Domina from Spawn Series 20. And the back. Series 20 was a really nice line. I did like that line. Clown 4, I never got a chance to get with his big pizza pie here in his hand. Probably has maggots on it like the movie did. Okay. Next, we have The Art of Spawn, Series 26, The Curse. I liked his design. The way he was made, that's why I have several versions of his figure. The open ones. He's got these little minion monsters that help him out. Let's see the back. Alright, next one. I mentioned it before. Vertebraker was his name. The, the red one, here's the alternate limited edition one. I remember buying this in an, another comic book store back in the day. Vertebraker. What series was this? Is not even listed? Let me see the back. Let's see the back. Series 3. These are Series 3. Okay. Oh, Spawn 2. Okay, that's the one that I had. That two different versions. Yeah, I had all except Future Spawn from that series. Alright, next one. We have Poacher. He's an elephant. I don't know the backstory too much. I'm assuming he kills, I don't know, people who do poaching. Looks like a tribal elephant. His weapons are giant bones. He's got a club made of bone. Let's see the back. So that's Total Chaos Series 2. Next we have Series 17 Spawn Tiffany 2. Two. Here's the back. Okay. Nice looking figure. They some of them did come with a stand, so you can stand the figure on. Next ones. We have Predator 2, Predator the Hunter, Let's see the back. Next one we have from Movie Maniacs Predator 2. It's a little bit different. The pose and the mouth opened. Different accessories. Movie Maniac 6 line. Let's see the back. Did have Alien 3. They had a couple of alien figures in that line. 
some other Predator ones. Next, we have. Huh. Don't I have that one opened? Yeah, Raven Spawn. Alternate Reality Series. Yeah, so I have that one open from a yard sale. This is my sealed one. Let's see the back. That series came with Alien Spawn 2, Pirate Spawn, which you saw, Spawn 7, She Spawn, and Wings of Redemption Spawn. Next, we have Spawn 4 from Series 20. You can see it has my original KB Toys sticker on it. For 10 bucks, but I got it much less than that because I used to work there. It's a cool looking figure. Lots of weaponry. They're not cheap on the weaponry, that's for sure. Let's see the back. Okay, we saw the back already a couple of times from the other ones. Let's go to the next Navy Field Medic Military Series 4. I do like the soldier figures. Salute to all those that served and thank you. We do appreciate and we love you. I do have family that served in the Navy. My aunts. And my uncle back in the late 80s I don't know too much details here's the back of it alright guys I had to pause to rotate all the figures these are the last figures I have up here we have the art of spawn series 26 Spawn issue 8 cover art. There you go. Let's see the side. That's the cover. It's a nice cover. McFarlane always made a lot of nice covers. Here's the back. We have Predator from the first Predator movie. Let's see the back. Next one, really nice figure, the Redeemer 2. From Classic Comic Covers, Series 25. Let's see the back. These are some really nice figures from this series. Next, we have Wings of Redemption Spawn, Series 21, I believe, Alternate Realities. Let's see the back. Next, 
Johnny Damon. I believe I got him in a yard sale. Way back, a couple of years ago. I got Prince Fielder from that line. Jonathan Papelbon. Andy Pettit. Scott Casimir. Pedro Martinez. Albert Pujols. And Damon. This is McFarlane Sports Picks Series 19. Next we have Movie Maniac Series 6 again. Another Predator 2. I think this is the fourth and last Predator figure I have. See the back. Next, from Ma Movie Maniac Series 6, we have Dog Alien from Alien 3. See the back should be the same as the other ones. Next, we do have what I thought I didn't have, which was Clown Four, the one holding the pizza. So I do have them. The only one I don't have from this line from series 20 is Violator, but I do have all the rest. Clown Four. back so yeah I have this one overkill 3 Domina spawn 4 medieval spawn 3 clown 4 and the one I don't have violator 3 next one from the samurai wars dark ages spawn scorpion assassin Hard to really see his face in that helmet. He's got a long weapon there. Pretty nice looking armor. In the back. From this series, there was Samurai Spawn, which we saw earlier. Jayaku the Nightmare looks like a dragon, three headed one. We have Lotus Angel Warrior from this line, Dojo, and Jackal Assassin. And our last Spawn figure, Spawn Classic, Medieval Spawn 2. He's got his ginormous greatsword here. He's got skulls on a chain, his helmet. He's got a stand. This figure is really heavy. He's got his cape back here. He looks like he's got a staff. This figure is really hefty. In the back.
All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed my McFarlane Toys collection. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Hit that like, subscribe, bell notification. And I'll see you all next time. Say bye. Let's get him in the video before we close out. There you go. Say hi and goodbye. Later, everyone.